This is Keeble KJ Aquatics, and I'm just doing my uh, monthly diligence on promoting the Keystone Clash, September 22nd to the 24th in Morgantown, PA. But check this out. Um, by that time, I'll probably be shutting down a bunch of my tubs. And if you're interested in some of these pond plants, hit me up because these overwinter very easy. So don't think you just have to chuck them in the garbage. Um, these are easily overwintered in the fish room. So I know my buddy, Miss Didi, she just posted a bunch of these way bigger than this one. Didi can grow a plant. She got the good big stuff, but anyways, just let me know because I can bring them down to the clash and uh, at a very good price because you'll just have to overwinter them, but they're super easy to overwinter for the most part. Now, water hyacinth, chuck that shit in the garbage. Salvinia easily grows in the tank. Um, these right here, they don't look so fancy right now, but these are uh, blue flag iris. Easily overwintered as they're endemic to the northeast. You can plant these in the garden or bring them down in the fish room. Very easy, very, very easy. Bikini teeny, this is my baby. You're not getting this. I've had this for two years now and this is going back in my fish room and it's gonna come back outside for a summer vacation. Now we're going to walk over here. Can of Cleopatra. This is going down to the Norwalk Aquarium Society. And we're going to see how many uh, dollars we can get for that. But as you can see in the background, all this blue pickerel, more blue flag iris, African can of sunset, um, creeping Jenny over here. Uh, I forget, this is a crystal pennywort. Look at this massive mofo. That is um, zebra rush and some more pickerel and salvinia, red root floaters. We got it, just let me know and we could bring it down to the Keystone Clash happening uh, the end of September. So again, just doing my monthly due diligence on the Keystone Clash and uh, that's all I got for you. Peace out.